This is the uh, Mountain Equipment Lotse jacket and uh, I believe this is the best mountain jacket on the market for an all-around user. I've had uh, two of these jackets now and used them ex uh, on the hills all over Scotland and the world in various conditions and they are excellent jackets. Uh, so this is the new version of it, um, but I will go through the features that make the jacket work really, really well. So first of all, it's a pro shell jacket, so it's incredibly waterproof and uh, hard wearing and breathable. It uh, does water resist zips, which are really easy to use. Um, they don't catch, uh, so it's nice and simple. The, you've got a massive mat pocket, which is really handy. Uh, and it's got a tabard in there uh, to attach your compass to, so you uh, can use map and compass together really easily. And the big thing that makes the jacket really good is the hood. So the hood is the best hood on the market as far as I can uh, see for someone that wants to use a hood for both heads and for helmets. So it's a really good mountain hood. It's got a really strong wired peak and you can leave the jacket open like this. So if you're working really hard on a wet day that's not too cold, you can uh, allow it to, the jacket to breathe really well, but you'll still stay dry and you can still move your head around without the hood getting in your way. Uh, the hood pulls in right into the back of the head and then you've got these quick, quick adjust, uh, even with gloves on, adjustments on the uh, hood and then the wire obviously you can adjust to, to sh the shape of your head and eyes and things. So it's a really really good jacket and has been a really good jacket for a number of years now. This is the new uh, version of Lotse. So how do they make an almost perfect jacket? Even better. What they've done is they've gone into lots of bits of the jacket and just tweaked them. So for a start they've made uh, all the taping that's round about the main zip area slightly smaller and that allows the jacket to move better and also to uh, be a bit more breathable. They've uh, changed the cuffs so the cuffs are now completely round so they don't come up over the hand uh, like lots of other jackets do and that makes the jacket slightly hard wearing and I prefer it. I think it fits inside gloves better than things. And then they've made the hood completely bonded so there's no stitching in the hood at all so the hood moves much better and it's a bit softer even though it's really stiff in the peak still it's much softer uh, round about the head but the big change is in the Gore-Tex so the Gore-Tex in this jacket uh, is the new Pro Shell so Pro Shell is split into most hard wearing and most breathable and strangely enough with this jacket they've gone for most breathable because it's an incredibly hard wearing jacket but what they've done is they've added a harder wearing 40 denier fabric to the outside of the jacket to make it incredibly hard wearing uh, but it still has the same breathability of the as the old jacket so the most breathable in this jacket means it's harder wearing and just as breathable as the old jacket and when you've got the jacket on it feels like more like a coat of armor uh, against the weather when you're wearing it it feels really really robust and it moves really well with you much better than the old jacket but the old jacket was still a really, really great jacket. So once again, they've just made a great jacket even better.